All right, so I did a video and told you that uh, the model of the um, solar filter to get for your Celestron Power Seeker 80 EQ was the 3750. I have to stand corrected and, and say this before our, the video starts. Please measure the outside diameter of where your dew shield is. That is the ring where your dust filter, your, your dust cap goes on at the front of your telescope for your Power Seeker 80 EQ. Measure that. It should be about four inches long from side to side, either up or down to you. It should be four inches or it'll be about, uh, it'll, it'll be shorter than that, but the, or yeah, or it'll be shorter than that. So you're either going to need the uh, the 3750 size or the 3750 part, or you're going to need the uh, the other part if you're going to go with the glass to you, um, uh, full aperture um, solar filter. So please do not listen to me. Measure the outside diameter of your telescope. I stand corrected when I say that the one that you want to get is a 3750. So if you got a Power Seeker 80 EQ before you order any of those filters, make sure you measure the outside diameter with a ruler. Now the inches for mine was actually off. I had a, if you go with the 3750 and it doesn't fit your telescope, you're gonna to have to take the dew shield off. It'll it'll the where your your dew shield is basically the ring that you're that your uh, your dust cap for your front of your telescope goes on, you can actually twist that, and it'll slide. It'll just kind of unscrew off, and you'll have to put it on that way. If you get, if it's too small to go on the outer side of your dew shield, um, if it's a little bit too big, which it'll probably be, um, if it, it'll be one of the two, so it might be too big. And if it is, you're gonna have to put the felt, which the the uh, the, the filter should come with some padding from a thousand oaks optical. So if you get one of the, one of their filters, I have the full aperture uh, glass plus or two plus is what it is that I did in the unboxing of this video. That is four inches in, in diameter. And um, it was actually the one that I ordered was actually too small and I had to take the dew shield off to use it. Um, so, Please measure yours before you you uh, buy one. And I hope you enjoy the unboxing video of this filter. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Thousand Oaks Optical Glass Plus Two solar filter in this video. All right, so I've got my uh, Thousand, Oak, Thousand Oak Optical uh, glass plus two, which this is the box that it came in. It's very lightweight, by the way. This filter is very, very light. The box is, um, says it weighs about 12 ounces is what it weighs. Uh, this is for the, uh, this one's for the model of my Celestron Power Seeker 80 EQ. And this is what the box looks like. It's relatively small. And I ordered it on... Uh, I was expected to deliver it was the 29th. Uh, I don't remember when I ordered this. Um, but, uh, okay, apparently I opened, I ordered it on, uh, or they shipped it on the 25th. It got here on, uh, I ordered it on August 25th, 2016, and it got here on August 29th, 2016. So I'm going to go ahead and do the honors of unboxing for you guys. Our invoice, invoice and some uh, popcorn is apparently what comes in this is some popcorn and a smaller box. So this here is my invoice and I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. All right, so here is the glass plus two. This is the model number, the uh, 3750 is the model number for the model of the Celestron Power Seeker 80 EQ. This fits on to the Celestron Power Seeker 80 EQ. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open this up for you guys and let you guys get a view of what it looks like. Hopefully we don't open this up and throw the, uh, the filter out. That would be bad. So here we go. Okay, interesting. 
Whoa, interesting aroma that came out of the box. Not sure what that is, but interesting aroma. Okay, so it's got a little uh, manual. Whew, I don't know what that, not sure what that smell is, but very weird smell. Came out of the box. Um, but this here is the filter here. And surprisingly, I can't even see through it. But surprisingly, I can't even, I'm looking through the glass. And uh, I can't even see through through the glass to see the camera. But this is what the the glass looks like, and this is what the cap, the back of the cap looks like. So you can't even see through um, the glass, which is cool, I guess. Very lightweight, um, very interesting. It's got the Thousand Oak, uh, it's got the Thousand Oak optical uh, branding right there. Thousand Oak optical on the branding there. And it appears to be made out of, I'm going to say aluminum. Some type of aluminum is what it's made out of. Um, definitely not sure what I'm going to store this lens in or this, uh, this piece in with. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to do some video very soon when I can of using this solar filter. Um what to the light? Yeah, I don't even see anything through the light. It doesn't look like there's any holes in it, but I'm not really close to a light bulb. Um, so this is what the glass, the glass two uh, filter looks, solar filter looks like for the um, Thousand Oaks optical. You can't even see through it. That's how that's how dark tinted it is. Um, right now the weather is pretty bad, so I can't take it out and use it. But um, I'll get some video out as best as, as soon as I can of me uh, using it. So thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see some videos when I release them.